Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. A predictable road is an important concept used in both Diffie-Hellman key exchange and Agamo encryption algorithm. Today, I will demonstrate how to test is a number G is a valid predictable road to P where P is a prime number. And how to test if a number G is a valid primitive root modular P. The fact that G is a primitive root modular P must satisfy two conditions. One, G bigger than one but less than P. Two, the modular results must be distinct. The first condition is easy to understand. The second condition will bring many questions. First, you need to understand the modulo operation is simply to get the remainder. Thus, all these remainders must be unique, and there's no duplicate. Let me use a very small numbers to understand the number G. Suppose P is 5, very small number, is a prime number, is 5. Let me test if 2 is a primitive root modular 5. 2 modular 5 is 2, that's the remainder is 2. 2 to the second power is 4, 4 modulo low 5 is 4, and 2 to the third power is 8, a modulo 5 is 3, 2 to the fourth power is 16, and a 16 modulo 5 is 1. So it simply is just to get the remainder. And you can see even very small numbers are tedious, but you get the idea. Let me test. 2 is a primitive root modular 5. 2 bigger than 1, less than 5. The first condition is met. It's okay. This, the second condition, the modular results uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 are distinct. Uh, there's, there's no duplicate. Thus, the second condition is met. Both conditions are met. And we can say 2 is a primitive root modular 5. Let me test if 4 is a primitive root of modulo 5. 4 modulo 5 is 4. 4 to the second power is 16, and 16 modulo 5 is 1. 4 to the third power is 16, uh, 64. And 64 modulo 5 is 4. At this point, we can see there's a two duplicate results, 4. If we continue, 4 to the fourth power is 256, and 256 modulo 5 is 1. Again, the result is the same as the second one. The first condition is, is good, but the second condition is not good. Thus, 4 is not a primitive root of modular 5. You can imagine if P is a very, very large prime number, there would be a lots, lots of primitive roots. But computers can handle the calculations. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much, and see you next time.